The NHL's Centennial Fan Arena made its first stop last weekend here in Arizona at Tempe Marketplace. I think the atmosphere is like great, just seeing a bunch of different fans from all over. You have fans from Boston, you have fans from Chicago, like, and all the Coyotes fans being here, it's pretty cool. Fans toured the NHL's 100th anniversary museum truck, played some ball hockey on the pop-up rink, raced each other on the Clear the Ice Samboni virtual reality experience, and spent some time with the Stanley Cup. There's something for everybody, whether your kid's playing, getting your picture of the cup, and the history of, of this great game, I mean, it's, it's inbred a lot of us. Taking my photo with the Stanley Cup today was so cool. Um, hopefully one day the Coyotes can bring it home. It was incredible to see so many hockey fans come to Tempe to take part in all of the fun and demonstrate how hockey has grown in the state of Arizona. It means a lot to be here in Arizona um, because we're not thought of as a hockey state, but we do have the Coyotes and we do love hockey. Hockey certainly arrived a lot sooner, but it's really arrived now. This is, this is incredible to see. All these young kids, they want to play in the NHL now, and that, you know, 20 years ago, I don't know that there was very many about that. One of the highlights of the day came at a check presentation for the One Step Bobcats, Arizona's first special needs ice hockey team. It means so much to us to receive that check from the NHL and the Arizona Coyotes. Without that money, it would be so hard to buy ice time, purchase gear, travel to play teams like us. Uh, but with that money, uh, you know, we're, we're going to be able to do that stuff really soon this next season. Huge support for hockey in Arizona and uh, for the Coyotes as well. I'm loving it. They're seeing the Stanley Cup. They're seeing all this great history that's come before them, and I think it's given them a little perspective as to how big this game is. 